Hi hey everyone, I'm back, and this is the third take I'm doing of this damn video. Hopefully it will not take 17 minutes to actually explain this. Hopefully I can just break this down quickly. So what is this? What is Sonic Team doing next? Now, third time's the charm, they say. What are they going to do for the 20, is the 20, oh my god, yeah. I think it's the 25th anniversary, I believe, maybe longer, who knows, 30th. I think it's the 30th, actually, anniversary of Sonic. Yeah, how the fuck did I fuck that up? Five years ago with Sonic Forces, almost. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, I'm completely wrong on that. But anyway, what's for the 30th anniversary? After Mania, we were like, well, that's an amazing game. And with Forces being a big flop... Is Sonic Team going to restructure? Are they going to have new people working on these? Hopefully. Because, Jesus, I don't think I can see that team doing any justice to a remake of Adventure 1 and 2. Now, the Adventure remakes are pretty much necessary in terms of improving upon it, the originals. I mean, you, you can't really do much. Like, there's not much to fuck up, I think. There's a lot you can do to fix, though, because holy shit, Adventure 1's, like, level design, it's okay, but it needs to be more expanded and less glitchy and just thought out a bit better. Like, Sonic stages are relatively fine, minus a few, uh, but same with Tails. But we got ones with, like, Knuckles that need to be fixed up in terms of, like, the climbing and the... The digging for the Master Emerald pieces, and uh, who else? Uh, Amy needs to be fixed up. Give her Mario Odyssey controls because Jesus, she controls like a like a poor man's version of Mario. It's so bad, <laughs> so bad. It's honestly the one, one game play style I loathe. And people will be like, "Wait, you don't hate Big the Cat?" It's like, I don't hate Big the Cat, but I don't like him. I would prefer to play as him over Amy any day, which is a very weird opinion. I'm kind of a, I'm a sucker for uh, just fishing games, I guess you could call it. Or just any game that has like a fishing like mini game in it. I'm for it. The thing is, uh, People don't like that he's part of the main story. I mean, they could definitely cut him out. But, uh, yeah. If they kept him in there, I wouldn't be mad or happy. I'd be like, okay, just make sure he's good and controls way better than he did, did in the original. <clears throat> Sorry. Now we have uh, just Gamma. Gamma's fine. He's just basically a better controlling version of the mech characters from Adventure 2. Uh, just give him more levels. Just give him just a deeper story, I guess you can call it. Because the whole story in general for Adventure 1 is a complete mess in terms of, like, not continuity, but more so consistency. Tells a story, Amy's story, after the egg carrier crashes. It's like... The missile launch for Tails happens, but for Amy, it doesn't, you don't see it. It's like, come on, you have to integrate those two somehow. Again, they probably were, not again, but they were probably just under a rushed development cycle because, you know, the Saturn was dying and the Dreamcast was right around the corner and they needed it to be a launch title. So that's my guess as to why it, you know, was uh, kind of messy. Because you can look at beta footage, and some of the beta stuff looks better than what we got. It must have been not as stable to run on the Dreamcast at the time, until they were able to fully understand the architecture. But by the time they started understanding the architecture, the Dreamcast was dead. So it's like, uh, shit. So that was, yeah, that, that's not good. So the story itself needs to be fixed in Adventure 1, big time. Just make it, just, just just throw the script out or take the script and just modernize it and make it sound not so cheesy 90s. 
because Jesus, there is so much cheese in that game. Like it makes you cringe on almost every line that they say. There are like almost zero lines that are redeemable. Well, not redeemable, I should say. There are some funny ones, but there are no good like takes at all in Adventure 1. Uh, so yes, when they do that, that's what they need to fix. Okay. I mean, I've been as in-depth as I wanted to be, but I'm getting kind of irritated doing this video three times, four times in a row. Now, Adventure 2, that's the one that needs probably a, a lot more fixing on the story aspect. Now, Shadow himself needs to be a bit fixed in terms of his, uh, or not, his origin. His origin can stay the same. It doesn't need to be what it was in Shadow the Hedgehog, where they added it in as like a just like some type of weird filler game just to give him some type of a backstory that was not necessary and aliens and yeah and swearing and guns and all that fun stuff Ooh, we got a car going by anyway so yeah just keep the, the same origin story but just go deeper into it into his past more so than it did because we only had what two three four flashbacks and even and they weren't even really that like they were significant but they weren't really um as impactful as they could be now because as a kid we looked at the story and we we're like okay this story is not too bad but they need to kind of uh go farther in depth with it and then we have the voiceovers the Adventure 1 voiceovers, like I said, have pretty much no redeeming lines in terms of high quality. Adventure 2 has its lines, but the sound mixing, holy shit. They didn't take the time to match up the dialogue or anything or whatever. They were just like, eh, just take this and throw in a Google Translate, change up a little bit, and see if it lines up with all the characters' mouth movements. And if it doesn't, just cut off that character <laughs> or have them overlap each other. And it's like, oh my God. It was like, as a kid, I didn't really care. But as I got older, I'm like, oh my God, this is awful. If you go on YouTube and see some of the like uh, videos that people have recreated some of the scenes and fixed the lines, it doesn't sound too bad. It sounds relatively good. It's just... When the music, the music itself, not bad, but like in cutscenes, they had no idea how to do any balancing on the sound mixing. Like it was like way too loud and the voices were way too quiet. And it's like, ew boy. And then we have three styles of gameplay. We have our Sonic and Shadow stages, which I think need to just be expanded upon. And the physics need to be fixed up a bit because it is not perfect and playing it now it's like it's i don't know it just doesn't feel right anymore like maybe it's just me i don't know not saying it's a bad game i i own it on dreamcast steam and used to have it on gamecube but then it just uh stopped working rest in peace the best version at least until this, unless you get Steam mods, then it's like, have fun. <laughs> so the story, yeah. Actually, yeah, I don't think there's much about the story I need to talk about anymore, other than they need to just kind of redo a lot of it, and or just like go through it and just fix a lot of things. I just rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. <laughs> And what else is there? Oh, yeah. We have our max stages. Not a big fan. The only one that was good was probably Cosmic Wall for Eggman. Because you had so much freedom. And, like, the physics, you were able to jump higher and gain height through hovering. But I don't know how they can honestly fix that. If they just did a straight translation of the regular levels. Especially Tails. They're going to have to make these a, more, a little bit more open and more 
and have you have more uh, control of the camera and not have it so automated because Adventure 2 versus 1 has a lot more of a automated camera that you can change, but when you start changing it and move just a little bit, it snaps right back behind you or right back to where it was supposed to be. That's one thing I'll give Sonic Adventure DX or basically the, any other port of the game that isn't the Dreamcast version, the free camera mode that wouldn't snap back. I wish Adventure 2 had the same idea, but I don't know. Don't know why they decided to go that route. Maybe it's just hardware, not really hardware limitations at the time, but just a weird style, I guess, to help the player, but it ended up just obscuring a lot of things and it just wasn't that great so let's see that's that and then the treasure hunting stages now with adventure now i did mention with adventure one they just need to fix up the move like the the character physics i should say and the levels themselves are fine but you don't want to make them bigger you can make them more detailed that's one thing that could be nice for adventure one that is now, Adventure 2, please, for the f for fuck's sake, scale back the, the size of these or make these characters way more, like, uh, flexible in terms of being able to do shit. Mad space, anybody? That's a nightmare. They need to just throw that level out and just redo it. <laughs> just make a brand new level. I don't care what anyone says. Just, just throw that level in a fire pit, burn it. Forget about it. And then the cannon's core. Did not like that stage at all. Complete. Like, in my opinion, a complete garbage level. <laughs> and let's see. Yeah, I mean, and the bosses, too, for both games, they all suck so hard. Like, really bad. So I don't know how they're going to do this. I really don't know how they're going to pull this off. It might be why they've been holding off for so long for remaking them, but considering the trend, I feel that they're going to do it. Oh yeah, so last thing they need to fix for the Venture 2's uh, treasure hunting stages are its, are its, is its, uh, <laughs> uh, emerald, uh, what do you call it? The, the, the emerald thing. Radar, thank you, brain, for catching up with my mouth. I think they fixed the radar system in Adventure 2, where instead of just having only the first one only being able, being able to be picked up on the, on the radar, just have all three of them available to be picked up, because you can sometimes, most of the time, I should say, go buy one and realize, shit, I got the second one instead of the first one by accident. Or you didn't get it, and that's that screws up your whole freaking score. Uh, so... That's why I think uh, the hard mode is the most enjoyable way to play those stages because they don't move their locations. And don't take points off for using a hint system. That's stupid. Some people just need a bit of a bit of a direction to go to. But that's me. That's just me. But yeah, again, I don't know. It's going to be very difficult for them to honestly remake these without them, you know, sacrificing too much time. Because there's a lot of shit they have to do to remake these. It's not like Crash where it's like, yeah, hallway platformer, just, you know, HD it up, you know, because the level design in all three games have aged pretty well, minus Crash 1. But, you know, you only can do so much for that. And then with Spyro, the Re Reignited Trilogy... That was fine. Just HD it up, give it some, you know, quality of life touches, and you're fine. Minus the uh, Sergeant Bird stages. Uh, the camera is just like, nope, I'm gonna go right up that freaking cab, like the right up his freaking head, and make it first person. Or not really first person, but like you're looking like down at, like, say, the lava, for example, and the. Uh, first stage that he's uh, not, not available in, but in the first hub world in the Tiki level. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Do you think there should be adventure remakes? 
Do you think they're in the works? Let me know below. Leave your constructive constru constructive criticism down below. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't like it and you can dislike it, I don't care. Anyway, I'm Alex, and I'll be seeing you all next time. Farewell.